So first thing you're gonna do is open up Chrome or whatever browser you are using. For this, I'm using Chrome. You're gonna navigate to drive.google.com, also just Google Drive. And you're gonna navigate, so you now you're at your homepage of Google Drive. So I made a folder to just keep everything organized. So what you're gonna be doing here is you're setting up your folder. So files to work on uh, is empty. So your abilities to work on the file here and then also while using a tablet or phone uh, would be available here. So I'm gonna be using an uh, old file used for a paper. So basically now this file is uploaded to Google Drive. So wherever I am, as long as I can access the internet, I could update it, change it, edit it, and it'll be updated and reflected in Google Drive. So benefits of the cloud. Um, so now if I want to edit something, like as I see, for some reason everything's highlight, uh, under, underlined. So I'm gonna come in here. So kind of similar setup to Microsoft Word the benefit so get rid of all the underlining now as you see I'm just gonna close this no need to save anything now when I go to my file here never saved anything but everything's not underscored anywhere underlined but that's gonna bother me um, so when you're seeing how this file set up so now from here you see any reflections changes anything like that will be saved automatically as long as you have access to the internet but the benefit of this as well is when you're going to the beach when you're going to the pool and you just want to work on some file and you have access to your google drive what you can do is set it up so so now that you see we're on the my phone here be a similar setup for the tablet. So now we're on the Google Drive on my phone. Files to work on. Cool, here's the file. So as you see, everything's not underlined as it was fixed when we we're on the desktop. Now the ability you're gonna want to use here is you're gonna be clicking this three dots right here. You're gonna see make it available offline. Or also your download availability. So we're gonna use available offline. So now it's gonna just download quick copy remember these are documents so at most there are a few kilobytes maybe a megabyte if you have photos uh, incorporated so now that you have the file available offline when you don't have access to the internet you can still access the file so now we're going to go we're going to see oh look it's available offline terrific so let's turn off wi-fi pull it up oh look cool i can still access it now, the thing is, any changes you do make, so when you're, again, when you're at a pool, when you're at a beach, you won't be able to access the internet. So any changes you make will be saved locally. What's gonna happen is once you get back to home or an area where you can access the internet and turn back on your Wi-Fi, and you're going to, it's gonna resync to anything changed. So I'll demonstrate that real quick. So let's see, uh, let's add to the end of this folder or end of this file. Oh. Cool. Uh, there we are. This is a test. Okay. So now it's been added and saving. So all changes saved. So as you see, that was local. So the bottom, this is a test to saved. Now, now we switch back over to the desktop. The file we edited. Oh look, this is a test is not here. Now, let's change back over to the phone. So now we reconnect to the Wi-Fi. Now we go to the bottom of this document. This is the test here. And now we're gonna now that we're back on desktop, this is a test, automatic. As soon as we were back on Wi-Fi, Google recognized there was a change to the file and it was updated. Last edit was made seconds ago by Brian Daniels. So as you see, that edit was made 
on Google Drive on my phone. So like I said, any file you edit, anything you do, so let's say you add another entire page of, doc of information to your document, as long as nothing happens to the tablet or the phone before you get access to Wi-Fi or the internet, you're fine. You know, like let's say you type up your autobiography and then you're on, you know, not on data, you're at the pool and you get bumped into and you drop the tablet into the pool. If it's not waterproof, you're pretty screwed. So hence the reason the setup where it's backed up to a cloud like this is beneficial. Because let's say you have access to Wi-Fi at that pool and it's the same scenario where you are typing up your biography, just finish up, you get bumped, falls into the pool, it's been backing up the entire time. So, hence the reason you want to use something like this. So any kind of changes, anything you do, are going to be saved as soon as you have access to Wi-Fi.